Shaystar.com. I can make you or break you. Um, Where'd you come from? Okay. Uh, my name is George. Hi, George. All my friends call me George. Um, all my real friends call me George. Uh, or G, or G, uh, whichever. Um, anybody else just calls me Promo Kid. Promo okay. Kid. Yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of an alias I picked up. Um, you know, throughout the years. Um, when I, when I first started at Jive, which was about five years ago, I was like, the, I was like one of the youngest kids working in here, and uh, nobody really knew my name. I wasn't the most talkative person. Only because, like, I know my personality and I could tend to be an asshole sometimes. Okay. Yeah, so in the beginning, <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, I don't want to come off that way. I'd rather just, you know, come off subtle. So I was kind of quiet, kind of timid, just wanted to really feel my way through. Okay. Plus, it was a whole new environment and it was something I really wanted to do. So I didn't want to fuck it up with my personality or, or giving people the wrong impression of me. So I was kind of timid, kind of quiet. So everybody just called me the kid from promo. So you said that this is something that you always wanted to do. Yes. Why? What, um, what is it about the business? What attracted you to it? Honestly, what attracted me to entertainment in in a, in, a, in an overall sense was the fact that you know, um, it was a certain allure about entertainment. You know what I mean? As a kid, you know, you grew up watching TV or listening to the radio um, or watching movies or something like that. And I always wondered to myself, like, all right, how do those people get to where they at? Mm -hmm. Or how can someone do that? Like, it's not just something you can say, okay. I'm gonna go to school in the in, in junior high school, high school. You can't just go to teaching. Like, yeah, you guys aren't teaching the class that I want. Like, you know what I mean, I want to learn about music business stuff, but I want to learn about movie stuff. Like, this ain't something you can you can necessarily teach. So, kind of had to just educate myself onto um, like you know what entertainment was, how it worked, the different entities entities within it, um, the different companies within it, and then eventually trickle down to like different positions and, and careers that are in entertainment. Then from there, I realized how how tough it is to get into entertainment, <laughs> and how much of a of a in demand uh, career path that it is for a lot of different people. And I just started my I just started hustling really from there. Got an internship at a radio station out in Connecticut where I was going to school, and from there just kept moving, never stopped. Yeah, I started off in street team, um, hanging up posters, hanging up. <laughs> Holding up picket signs, the whole night, like literally holding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Typical, typical, typical start. Story. Yeah, typical start. Yeah, like all the stars. Like, all the millionaires now. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, Somebody's unpaid assistant. Exactly. <laughs> and then from there, you know, just I graduated school. So shout out to all the graduates who graduate college. You know, yes. it is tough. Yes. It is tough, but keep doing it. Yeah, um, definitely. Um, I had got a call from Sony because I, I met my last semester in, 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 my, in my senior year, I did an internship with Sony. Um, working in the corporate corporate division, it was like one of, apart from the legal internship, it, it kind of measured up the same in, in terms of the, being the worst internship ever upstairs in corporate. It was, again, great experience. I was just glad to be in the building though. Right. Um, <laughs> they called me in, I interviewed, they gave me the gig on spot. It was like, it was just for, it was just a temp gig though. So there'll be, there'll be weeks and months where I'll be working straight. You know what I mean? I done worked in the AR department, publicity department, marketing department, promo department, creative department, distribution, every department in, in the record company, in the record, in Sony, within Sony I worked in. But then there was like three weeks where I'd be sitting at home waiting for phone ring, watching Jay Springer and <laughs> Maury. Like, you are not the volume. Yes. <laughs> God damn it, that phone ain't ring yet. <laughs> Give me something to do. <laughs> exactly. I know all the yeah. I know everything on your channel, <laughs> everything on Mari, everything on James Springer. I need some more constructive shit to do. Seems like episode last week again. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like one day one day I was temping in the publicity department here at Jive and I remember like it was yesterday. 
Um, I literally was sitting there at the desk, you know, I got a call from HR. HR was really cool with me at the time because they always looked out for me. Um, and they was like, yo, I want you to come interview for this gig. I'm like, all right, cool. It's whatever. You know, it was like a Friday or some shit. I was like, I'll come interview on Monday, Tuesday, whatever day you guys want. <laughs> at that day. time, yeah, <laughs> whatever days you guys want. At that time, I had been on like 30 interviews. Wow. Like, I, I shit you not, I had been on like 30 interviews within the company while I was temping. Nothing happened. Mm-hmm. Like people like me, but then it would be like it would be like a referral, or it'd be like you know some other shit, or you know somebody knew somebody. Yeah, it was just it was just crazy, and I wasn't one of those privileged kids like a lot of kids in, in the music business who yeah. come from somebody who worked in music or anything like that. Like I literally knew nobody in music. Like I literally hustled and shook every single hand, every single contact relationship I got. I got on my own. Nobody like ever was like, yo, this is George, this is my son, this is my cousin, not none of that shit at all. So I literally like, you know, just being in the building, just um, build my report. And like I said, being a, being a temp, it was the best experience because I got a chance to be in different places and work with different types of people. Um, and so anyway, they called me, they was like, they was like um, yeah, I want you to interview for a gig. I'm like, all right, cool, come Monday, Tuesday. Like, no, 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 no. I want you to come right now. I'm like, um, Alright. <laughs> Alright, cool. Like I dead ass had on a hoodie. Fucking my beard was ridiculous. <laughs> fucking I had no resume on me. I literally was on monster.com pulling up my own resume. Wow. Like it was crazy. And uh, I was like, alright, went upstairs to the interview. In the hoodie and everything. In the hoodie and everything. Oh my gosh. Fucking sat down, nervous as shit. <laughs> <laughs> nervous as shit. I'm like, yeah, you know, my name is George. You know what I mean? Um, they told me about the gig, you know, I, I, I've been in promo departments before, you know what I'm saying, I, I, can, I can definitely do the gig, you know, I just want to start out. Um, my boss said that, my, the, the guy at the time, he, he's, on, he's on his computer, he's watching TV, he's on his Blackberry, okay, okay, he wasn't focused on nothing I was saying, <laughs> nothing, like at all. Fucking, somehow in the interview, I turned into a conversation. Mm. I forget what I asked him, I mean, whatever question I asked him must have been the best question ever in life. Mm-hmm. But I asked him a question, and um, I don't know, maybe I struck a chord, maybe it was just the right timing, maybe, again, maybe it was just a golden question, but mm-hmm. turned into a conversation, and we was in there for like an hour. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then my boss called me into his office, and he's like, yeah, so I think we're going to make this permanent. Oh, wow. So, you know, it's what it is. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. No doubt. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Wavy. Yes. <laughs>